I am mega excited to tell you about our sponsor My Ilm, a Netflix type app for kids that has loads of Islamic cartoons and videos with no dodgy adverts, music and it's overseen by scholars. Yours for a modest $3.99 a month. Mate, it's daylight robbery. Let's crash the app by downloading it like crazy guys, yeah? Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Who do you think he is? You didn't see what I saw. And if I did, would I be calling him the second coming? That's a genuine. What was all the fuss about? Well, the Jal. Let's see this liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Was trending. Wait, I need to say that like Imran Hussein. The Jal was trending this morning on Twitter, mate. And I'm sure your gut reaction was something like this. Where are you going, bro? I'm going uh, Saudi, in it, bro? Saudi? Yeah, the Saudi. Tiger, Lil Wayne, and all them hip hop artists are there. Yeah? I'm going Makkah Medina, in it? Not though we're the waste man, I'm going. Pack in the essentials, bro. Pack in the Why essentials. do you need all of that? Pack in the essentials, bro. The jar, in it? Pray for me, brother. Or if you're still indulging in the old haram stuff, it was probably quite similar to this. Hey girl, how's it going? Yeah. So when we meeting up, yeah? Forget your dad in here, bring him along as well. You what? The jar is trending. <laughs> what? You're right, you know. You know what? Uh, I, I gotta go. Whatever it was, seeing the jar trending on Twitter is never good news, mate. You're sick. You're sick. <laughs> In fact, most people thought, is he here? Is that why he's trending? And you know what, guys? I wouldn't be surprised in the current era that we're in that uh, if he was here, people would probably be posting their selfies with him or calling him to their chat shows. So Mr. Dajjal, who is your favourite musician at this moment in time? Uh, that's a hard one uh, because, you know, they're all evil. But um, Lil Wayne and Tiger are my favourite for now because of the brilliant work they're doing in Saudi Arabia. Why on earth was this class A mug trending? <laughs> well, it's because Netflix have decided to do a series on Dajjal uh, called The Messiah and is due to be released on January the 1st. Now naturally the Messiah is Jesus or Isa alayhi salam upon him be peace. But here, if you look at the synopsis, he's actually I mean, there's a question as to whether he's real or he's a con man. And obviously it's more inclined to him being a con man. Somebody who's a fake messiah is the Antichrist. But the confusion has come because some people have gone on IMDb, checked it out and initially he actually said the name of the actor and then Masi Dajjal. But then afterwards when that whole Twitter storm erupted, they changed it to Masi. Yeah, the Messiah. So I don't think that necessarily helped the situation because I don't think they want to make it obvious that it's the Jal because movies tend not to do that. But I know what you guys are thinking. Why on earth would Netflix do something as stupid as that? You're sick. You're sick. Why the hell not? The Jal is someone that is accepted within Judaism, Christianity and Islam. In Judaism, he's known as Amilus. In Christianity, he's the Antichrist. And in Islam, he's Masih ad Dajjal. Second reason is anytime his lectures uploaded on YouTube, boy, it just pops off. Everyone's interested in him. And, you know, it goes viral. Number three, it's clearly designed to cause controversy. And controversy builds more traffic and popularity of the program. And that translates to the Dosh. It's bound to make Netflix loads of money. To be fair guys, 
I did see some tweets of people saying, you know what? It's actually nice to see that people have the basic knowledge of the deen and understand that this guy is dodgy mate. A lot of people were worried yeah and the, there were loads of memes showing how worried they were but to be frank if you actually analyze and ask the question why are you worried? Oh because you can deceive me and take my religion from me. What's going on at this moment in time? I mean the Jal before he even comes there's a system that he lays down there's like an there's like a prelude an opening act and he sent his opening act and look at the state of the people mass confusion people don't even know what gender they are they don't know what sexuality they are it's just craziness so to be frank we fall and pray to his opening act let alone the jal himself i mean look at the people people don't feel the need to pray to practice their faith to adorn themselves with the Islamic garbs. There's 101 excuses. Oh, it's in what's in the heart that counts. It doesn't matter what's on the outside, mate. As long as my heart's still clean. But pause this guy for a second. Be quiet for a second. Okay, shut him up. Shut him up for a second. We've listened to what his, his guy has to say. Come on, mate. I mean, what if someone says, I haven't cleaned my backside for the last two months, but it's still clean, mate? <laughs> you know what? If the Jal comes, People will be like, yo, you don't know what's in his heart. Don't judge him. Look at the good that he's doing. Look how many people he's helping. Don't believe in conspiracies, yeah? We need some solid evidence that this guy is the Antichrist. And you know what? Some people are saying this is predictive programming. They're telling us how to react or how the scenario will be. So when it actually pans out, we're more likely to follow that programming that's been laid ahead of time. I mean you guys tell me, what do you guys think? Is there something that I've missed out on? <laughs> and guys I forgot, the guy who's actually playing the Jal, his name is actually Mehdi, the Mahdi. I mean, talk about coincidence mate. Is it? I don't know, I'll leave it to you guys yeah, but it's a mad one, it's a mad one. Till next time guys. Wait, pause this guy for a second, be quiet for a second. Assalamualaikum.